Hey guys, I'm Sharon from Skyle Studio. So today's tutorial is going to be how I created this scene. So I would call this an intermediate level tutorial and it's all about setting up the proper materials. Um, so let's get on with it. So we're gonna start by selecting everything with A and deleting the default scene. And you guys can see uh, the keys I'm pressing on the right corner of my screen. Uh, and I'm going to create a cylinder with shift A and rotate it in the Y axis with R Y 90 and scale it a bit and now scale a bit in the X axis and now I'm going to add a plane and scale it with S and 20 in the numpad and now I'm going, oh, you guys can see. Uh, so now I'm going to pr press G and control and move it in the Y axis a bit. And I'm pressing control so that it fits the grid perfectly. And also I'm gonna go to side view with three in the numpad, G and Z with control and put it in the bottom. And also now I'm going to the shading view and I'm gonna create a new material. And So now we're going to create a gradient texture and I'm going to uh, press shift F, uh, shift, uh, control shift if you guys have the node rangular add-on enabled and I'm going to rotate the plane 90 degrees in the Z axis. You can see 90 degrees in the Z axis and now I'm going to add a color ramp so I can control the gradient of our plane. Color ramp and plug in between and now I'm going to make it linear no sorry I'm gonna make it constant so we don't have the gradient uh, we have a smooth edge now we can control the gradient so this is what we are going to be using to animate our material in the animation so this color ramp will be used as the factor of our two BSDF shaders we that we're going to be creating you can, you can use the color or the factor for this doesn't really matter but I'm gonna use the color for this now I'm gonna add a mix shader and plug the color uh, color ramp we created into the factor and create two materials and plug it into the shader duplicate the BSDF shader and grab it all and move it plug the two shaders and I'm gonna change uh, I'm gonna change the color of one I'm gonna make it a light bluish color and just leave it like that for now now I'm gonna add my camera And place it good layout view and control alt zero place my camera and select it and maybe place it the locked camera view and maybe zoom in a little bit more a bit more yeah so this angle would look right for me now I'm going to get out of locked camera view and I'm going to select the plane again and control drag it a bit more so it fits in the grid as well now I'm going to drag my camera a bit further and before you guys start animating make sure you guys go to edit preferences and set the animation mode to linear Now I'm going to shading view and I'm going to control the material slider so it fits on top of our cylinder. Going back and now we're going to animate it. Let's select the um, plane. I'll select the camera and move it a bit. Now I'm going to select the plane.
and make it 120 uh, frames and click the frame or select the plane and add a keyframe with I location rotation scale and move it back it had with G and Y move it up to here and press I and location rotation scale as well so I, have, I add two keyframes now if you play it you can see our plane is moving and now I'm going to shading view and I'm going to add the material slider there and add a keyframe there as well there go back to the first frame and go to shading and slide the slider back and add another keyframe so the basic principle of this animation is done so now it's just a matter of setting up the materials and the lighting and doing a little bit of modeling just to make this scene look good so i'm going to increase the speed of the uh, tutorial a bit so just hang in there now I'm going to animate the cylinder. I'm going to press Ctrl A and add all transforms so we don't have a rotation. And I'm going to add a keyframe in the first frame and add another keyframe in the 121st frame. Just make it, make sure you guys make it X uh, 100, uh, minus 360. I just forgot to make it minus 360. Uh, so make it minus 360, not just 360 so when the animation finishes it is 360 now I'm going to do a little bit of modeling so I'm gonna cut the uh, add a loop cut with control R and delete the two vertices in the corner and add a mirror modifier and add two loop cuts with, again with control 2 and I'm gonna select these two vertices and E to extrude it up and now I'm gonna add a mirror modifier and make it Y because we rotated it I'm gonna enable, uh, enable clipping now I'm gonna set up a new material just a white material like the one in the top and I'm gonna make the sides of our material same second material we created and I'm gonna select those two and assign it and select these two edges and assign the material we just created as well now i'm going to do a little bit of modeling e to extrude a cut i'm going to cut it in half and delete the four the vertices in the side and add a mirror modifier and i'm going to do a little bit of modeling select the face E to extrude and then move it in extrude it again extrude it out E again extrude it extrude it again push it out a bit with X E to extrude it again E again extrude it in and I'm gonna add the subdivision surface modifier with control 2 as well and bevel the edges I need it I want with control B bevel this edge as well and this edge as well so it has a smooth uh, edge now i'm going to select the middle face and again extrude it back and now i'm going to duplicate that face with shift d and make it a separate object and go to edit mode and e to extrude E again and e set it inside E again pick it out extrude and create something like this and add a loop cut another loop cut a few more loop cuts and do a little bit of modeling and scale it in the x-axis a bit and push it in I'm gonna setting up set up the materials so you guys can see how I set up my materials. 
so this is actually uh, an image uh, texture i created which i'll leave it uh, leave it in the description for you guys to download if you guys want you guys can use this material to do anything with it and uh, that's the material i created for this tutorial and now i'm gonna copy it and create another material and add the material to the cylinder and i'm going to uv unwrap it as well you guys can see the scales don't match at all and i'm going to fix it with uv's now and i'm going to apply the mirror modifier and add a loop cut so i've made this material it's it's a seamless material so you guys can use it uh, seamlessly <laughs> and i'm gonna unwrap i'm gonna select that and unwrap it now i'm gonna add the mirror modifier to that as well i'm gonna bevel these edges of the plane and shade smooth add the mirror modifier and uv unwrap plug it to the uv and scale it S6 yep yeah. 6 looks pretty similar now from top when I look at it so S6 you can add another material and control the factor with Add an area lamp, rotate it 45 degrees, make the strength about 1000. Duplicate it, rotate it. I'm going to add an HDRI map, light scene. Decrease the power of our lights a bit. Create a new material and add a water texture. That's also Warner texture. You guys can do whatever you want with the materials. I've, um, so I've done a few. Um, you guys can check the materials. It's just the same setup I've created in my previous tutorial. So you guys can check them out. Now I'm going to add a curve and delete the four vertices and extrude, extrude. Now I'm going to add some depth and increase the resolution and convert it back to a mesh and add a mirror modifier. Add a cylinder, shade smooth, extrude it in, extrude it out and add two materials. One is a metal shader and the other one is just a material.
so if you guys enjoyed this tutorial uh, please leave a like and a comment below and also subscri uh, subscribe to this channel uh, it really helps uh, me stay motivated to make more tutorials like this so thanks a lot guys um, see you in the next one